We need to talk. Something horrible has happened. The European Parliament has voted to condemn the USA for overturning Roe vs Wade. All I can say is, no, not the EU. I mean, what's next? Are we going to get condemned by China? You know, for our human rights records? Like, how will we live with ourselves now that such bastions of human rights and freedoms are condemning us? And by the way, in their condemnation proclamation, they referred to abortion as a human right. And I just have a question. Um, who's right, may I ask? Because when we talk of human rights, I just wonder which humans get to have that right. Because it's always interesting when people who are pro-abortion talk about human rights. Because to exercise one's rights, there's always just one prerequisite that stands out, and that is that you have to be alive. And if you're not, then you really can't exercise your rights. So, for example, if abortion were a human right, and it's not, but if it were, you'd have to first keep people alive in order to let them exercise that right. I realize this thing's kind of broken because exercising the right results in others who are not alive, but this is why it's not really a right. The same European body that is talking to us about rights is one that talks about combating and criminalizing so-called hate speech. Bear in mind that pastors throughout Europe are currently being investigated for speaking the truth, for speaking the gospel, for evangelizing, and freedom of speech for Christians is increasingly being restricted over there in Europe. The body that doesn't respect national sovereignty and that re re repeatedly tramples on the rights of the ultimate minority, that is, upon the rights of individuals, with impunity, is now talking to us about human rights. The European Commission is actively seeking new laws to deal with hate speech. Let's look at the actual text from one of their proposals. It starts, quote, Hate is moving into the mainstream, targeting individuals and groups of people sharing or perceived as sharing a common characteristic such as race, ethnicity, etc. I'm not going to read that whole list. Now, really? Hate is moving into the mainstream now? At this point in history? Really? Really, we have a more divided and hateful society now than in the past, you say. Do they even think about that which they write? It wouldn't seem so. But you know which groups it's actually harder for right now? White people and Christians. That's it. Unless you want to actually say to me that it's harder now than it was in the past for black people to get into mainstream institutions. Is it? Do we have religious tests for people to get into institutions? Yes, but only against Christians. It's only Christians who are being, you know, felt out for their particular positions when they go to get assigned to the Supreme Court, for example. It's only them who get questioned about their views on gay marriage and abortion, etc. Because there are religious tests increasing in that field. It's only Christians who are being uh, quizzed about their views on abortion as they try and enter the medical field. It's Christians who have been discriminated against in various different fields at this point. It is not the groups that they're seeking to protect with their hate speech laws. And it certainly is not the case that we live at a more hate-filled point in history than in the past. That's just wrong. It's absolutely wrong. But what is the EU doing now after all their bastions of human rights defending? And by the way, you know how, how over in Germany and in Belgium they're Will, unwilling to speak up for the homeschool parents who want to homeschool their kids and instead the parents are getting arrested and the kids are getting taken away and put into foster care against their will because the parents don't want to subject their kids to the degeneracy that's taught in public schools. Yeah, that's all okay by the EU, but not the US. They're busy criticizing us over here for trying to protect the most vulnerable of human life. That's what's going on. The people in the modern age who are most devalued, most dehumanized, and most depersoned are the unborn. In the US, there is an effort now to protect those lives. And because of that, the EU, which is an evil body, is appalled. And I think that's awesome.
You made it to the end. You either really liked or really hated that video. Let's assume you liked it. There are a lot more that you can choose from, and also you can follow me on Gab and various other social media sites. And if you are able to support the channel, that's an option for you too. There are links in the description below. Thank you so much.